This video was created to help you understand what to expect when you begin cancer treatment. Whether your treatment includes chemotherapy, targeted therapy, or immunotherapy, each treatment type acts differently in the body. Chemotherapy uses powerful medicines to destroy cancer cells. It can be given orally or through an IV. Chemotherapy stops the cancer cell's ability to replicate, divide, and grow. It impacts fast-growing cells, which might include both cancer cells and healthy cells. It causes side effects in areas where you have fast-growing healthy cells, such as the digestive tract, reproductive system, and hair follicles. Side effects might include diarrhea, anemia, hair loss, fatigue, and mouth sores. Targeted therapy uses drugs to target cancer cells. It includes both oral and IV drugs. It's important to note that not all cancers will benefit from targeted therapy. Cancer cells must express specific markers, specific proteins, or substances made by cancer cells for targeted therapies to be beneficial. These drugs turn off or block cell growth. Targeted therapy has the potential for side effects, including skin reactions and diarrhea. Immunotherapy uses a person's own immune system to fight cancer. It can be administered by IV or given orally. Immunotherapy helps the immune system recognize and target cancer cells. It provides the body with additional components to enhance the immune system response. It boosts the immune system response to control and eliminate the cancer. It is not available for all types of cancer. Immunotherapy is usually well tolerated but can potentially cause serious adverse effects when the immune system is overactivated. Although this is not common, it is critical for you to report any change in your health. Early treatment of any adverse effects can help you stay on your treatment schedule. After check-in, you will typically proceed to the lab where a technician will draw your blood to ensure you are ready for treatment. Once your lab work is complete, you may see your physician, or you may go directly to the infusion suite, which is a wide open space that allows nurses to observe how you are tolerating the medication. Please let the nurses know if you experience any of the following during your infusion. Sudden flushing or warmth, shortness of breath, low back pain, chills or itching, of the nose, throat, or skin. What else is there to know? Some infusions last a few hours, so think about how to make yourself comfortable. You can usually eat before treatments, unless you are advised otherwise. Most infusion suites have snacks available, but you might bring your own favorite non-perishable food. Download your favorite shows or movies in advance to avoid Wi-Fi delays. Bring a book or a puzzle. Bring a wrap, blanket, or additional layers. And don't forget to arrange for a ride after the infusion. If you have any questions about the information in this video or your specific treatment, please don't hesitate to speak with your care team. We know this is a difficult time and we are here to help.